Peace, brothers and sisters who have arrived here on this channel. By the end of this video, you will know exactly what should happen in the world soon after the revealing of the aliens and how close we are to this event at this moment. So, brothers and sisters, after a long time without you guys here in February, I will explain this by the end of this video, but I firstly want to answer this question here. What happens after this scene that you were seeing here of the aliens invading Earth and basically the Vatican here? So, let's start answering this question with the former U.S. President, Sir Ronald Reagan, at the UN. We often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. So, as you just heard him say, all the way back in the 1980s, I guess, in the UN, what would happen if they come to Earth? Our difference would be set aside because all humankind will then unite. So after the coming of the aliens here, and there's an, an example here of the Vatican, the world will unite. The differences will be set aside because we're all going to be humans and they will be the aliens. And the reason why I showed you the Vatican here is because the Vatican is very related to the coming of the aliens. The Pope, the actual Pope right now said that uh, they would try to baptize the aliens if they come. But most interesting here, is the following the following news here so vatican prepares conference on extraterrestrial life this was on january 18 2020 so they were already preparing for this event here this coming of the aliens that will change the whole world because the world will unite according here to president ronald reagan and more than that also not long ago vatican digs illegal tunnel to exhume King David's DNA and bring Messiah back to life. So they were trying to do some crazy things here in order to bring their Messiah, bring another Messiah, the Antichrist, and also prepare for the coming of aliens. So they know they are coming, they know they are preparing for this, and they know what to do with this because that's their agenda. They will come, it's not far from now, and they will change the world because the world will be united and this means two things basically the world was not united before the coming of the aliens so this implies that the world could be at war or in the brinks of a huge war before the coming of the aliens and the key term that i want you to pay attention here is this one sudden destruction the bible tells us that sudden destruction comes before the face false peace and security that it will come with the antichrist and of course these aliens which is the fallen angels also another thing that is very crucial here is after the aliens come the world will unite and of course the aliens will provide this advanced technology to humans and this technology will be used to control people completely and the key term here is the mark of the beast the mark of the beast will come with this technology that will control and track people all over the world nobody will be able to buy or sell without this mark and it is all related to technology the banking system and the world united so before i go on here and talk about the sudden destruction that is the key term that i want to to pay attention here i want to take you guys back to my channel here have you guys watched my last three videos here those that i did before uh february basically those three videos here 
or there are four videos that I made here a month ago, they are very, very important for you to understand this video that I'm making right now. I will use some information from those videos uh, to you guys based on the possibility that you guys already watched it. Those four last videos that I made in English here, they are in Portuguese and in English that I make videos, those four last videos that I make, they show perfect alignment to peering this year, peering to be the escape of the ride, peering to be the marriage supper of the lamb. Those key terms that are very important for uh, you that believe in the Bible, believe in Jesus Christ. So those four videos here show an amazing confirmation that is confirmed over and over again about our possibly uh, living in Peering this year, which is right now in March. So I highly encourage you to watch those videos if you haven't yet, because they show an amazing confirmation for peering that's going to be even more amazing in by the end of this video here. So let's go back here to the slide so I can show you guys the X. Everybody's talking about the X. X is technology. X is coins. X is the social media X that will be a banking system lately. So the X is everywhere, everywhere on news, uh, on commercials, on uh, social media. The X is on uh, its own mainstream media. And why is that so? After talking and understanding a lot by this, I understood that the X is pointing to the axis that are coming to America. You can see here that the solar eclipses from 2017, 2023 and 2024, they make two axes here on the United States. The first one here and the next one here. Those axes are very significant, very important. This is a sign of judgment that is coming to America, but not only to America, but the whole Christian world. The judgment begins in the house of God, and this judgment will come soon after the rapture, I believe. The rapture will spare those who believe in Christ, who are living for Christ, who are looking for Christ, and those that are not looking for Christ, those that are lukewarm, those that are going to be left behind, they will be persecuted with this judgment. And the judgment is coming. And it's going to be very, very soon. And I received some new uh, perspective on this issue here, on this uh, solar eclipses making an X on America. That is this. Those two dots, those two crosses here, I would like to call those for those things here. The first one I'm calling Hiroshima and the next one I'm calling Nagasaki. So if you know a little bit about history, you already know why I'm calling those two uh, crosses here, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Those are the places in Japan that received the atomic bomb. So the US launched the atomic bomb to end the Second World War on those places here, killing many innocents as well. And everything that is sold, it returns. So the judgment always comes because people and the countries, everything harvest that which sells. So this is very important. This is what I received from God. And you will understand because the this current world order that we are right now, came to be after the Second World War. And this world order must fall in order for the next new world order to replace it. The world order of the Red Dragon. China with the communists, the Yadis, those that follow Islam, they will come, which is BRICS plus five, so 10 nations there, along with China, to bring this new world order. And for this to happen, the old world order must fall. And what has been sold in the past to construct this world order, this current world order, shall be harvested in the end of it. And if you remember, seven years is how long 
the Second World War lasted, and exactly those eclipses are about seven years apart from each other, and they are making these two axes. So, very interesting uh, thing, point of view that I received here, why I think this is very important, because the judgment is coming, and I believe it will come like the sudden destruction that you just saw, right? Uh, something that is going to be before the coming of the aliens and after the rapture of the church. This will come, it is inevitable, and after this sudden destruction, then they will come. Who are they? They are the aliens, or what people in the world think it's aliens. It's those that will come with a lot of technology, flying saucers, they will come to the whole world to deceive every nation on earth and this here is a commercial that appeared on the super bowl this year so it is a commercial for millions of people to watch and they showed the coming of the aliens here and as you can see here i can't pass it everything but proof of extraterrestrials are here but people are so distracted by their phones that they don't realize it and that's like a mockery that they are doing here so the aliens are coming, people are distracted, but the news are showing here, shocking UFO testimony. And we know that this has been a recurrent thing that they have been showing on the news also. Pentagon showed that as well to be an explained aerial phenomenon. So they are talking about this and they know why they are doing this because eventually they will come and they are not what people are expecting their, them to be. So on this commercial here, you see, they come, but people are so distracted by their daily lives that they don't realize it. Also, it is a thing for the rapture. People won't realize until it happens. And you see here the based alien that movies talks about. And then they are frustrated by people and then they appear to be a button. And then they showed here, hello down there, we arrived. Four fingers here and those aliens here appearing on Earth. They control every cell phone here, every computer, every screen, basically. And that's when people will perceive them. That's when they will come about and show themselves. So this commercial here, appeared on Super Bowl because they are expecting this to happen right after the sudden destruction because they will come and they are not what people are expecting they are not uh, extra they are not extraterrestrials in the in the meaning that people are thinking those are uh, demons that are already in here they have have been working with high government people and they have been expecting the rapture in order for them to manifest. There are many people in YouTube at this moment talking about uh, which races are them, uh, how they will come and show themselves to the whole world very soon. In Brazil, I have even a uh, video from a very known guy that made a movie here in Brazil, a very known movie. He's talking about how they will come very soon, very shortly, and they are uh, races that created the, the, the humans. So this whole deception will come after the rapture because they will have to explain the rapture. They will have to prove to all the religions that they created the religions. They will bring fake artifacts to prove uh, to the whole world. And everybody that is not with them they will call it radical terrorists and they will persecute. That's exactly what the Bible talks about. So to confirm this even further, we have something here. We have a, a series that played on, I believe, HBO. On in 2015 if i'm not mistaken called childhood end if you haven't watched this i don't i can't say i recommend it but it's very informative for everybody to realize what they are showing here so this series here called childhood End basically shows us what will happen after the coming of these 
aliens which are indeed demons and they showed in here that they are demons so take a look what they talk about here they brought peace people are looking just like you saw in the ad for the super bowl here filming here they brought prosperity so the peace and security the the golden age right that they will bring they unite the world they will bring this golden age they will bring peace and prosperity this fake peace that the bible talks about however what they will they want in return to mark everybody the mark of the beast they will want to mark everyone to receive here this mark and it's not on hbo it's on sci-fi here but it's very interesting series here and i have a another video that has a summary of this series so spoiler alert if you want to watch it i'm gonna show basically the summary of it and you will see how uh, strong this is on this series so i will start here on minute 107 let's see if i can put some some pieces here of this video for you guys to see Shock people begin to see their departed relatives through whom Corellin, supervisor of the earth, communicates with them. The so the this alien called Corellin here on the series brings back dead people or the illusion of back, back, uh, dead people to talk to other people. So this could be Project Blue Bing. This could be uh, a major deception that we are, aren't already um we haven't haven't already seen in this scale worldwide so they'll bring back dead people to talk to those that were left behind eliminate wars hunger and inequality and to usher in the age of utopia so they will eliminate wars they will bring this this age of utopia that's their promise to the world and you see here um a type of religious person that was dead and then reappeared here to talk to those that are left behind here and people with this they see the aliens coming they have different opinions about it but take a look at what they say here Coretta Jones is a religious girl whose mother decided to end it all because the overlords destroy her faith. The girl. So, a religious girl whose mother decided to end it all because the aliens came. So, the aliens will try to uh, say all religions are fake. They created the religions. They have the artifacts. So, a lot of people will lose their faith because of the coming of these demons that will deceive the whole world fears that the next generations won't know about God and the freedom Lee uses her story as another argument against the overlords rule soon so they they are using he, their story as a means to be uh, the one who is persecuted by those aliens here because it is a religious fanatic they will call those that don't accept their reality what else do I have here to show minute 60610 So eventually, the aliens reveal themselves and take a look. Who are the aliens here? Children are sent into the ship to ceremoniously introduce Corellin. Finally, so two children are, are sent to the ship. They come out, but Corellin and take a look. They after he comes out, Corellin's appearance shocks the people. Hello, it is the devil, the demon. That's the alien that comes. So they are showing in this series here, basically a demon coming to deceive and bring this peace and prosperity to the world. But it's a demon in the beginning here. You can see it even better. Take a look. Those two children come out with the devil 
to present to the whole world that's the alien that is coming so they show this in the series and it's very very clear to everybody especially those that believe in the bible because this is coming the devil will come the antichrist will come they will deceive the world with their technology if it is possible they will, they will deceive even the elect and this is just a, a a show that shows this perfectly just like we are expecting it to happen very very soon after the rapture of the church after also the sudden destruction that is already pointed by solar eclipses to happen in this world very shortly so what else do we have to show you guys here about this 19 years. Peretta Jones still doesn't trust the overlords. She studies a lot of literature and comes to the conclusion that Karelin is the devil himself, sending a... So she studies a lot of literature. So it's, she studies the Bible and comes into conclusion, doesn't need too much, of, of course, that he is the devil himself sending a false prophet. So it's obvious to everybody that knows and have a little faith that this is correct. And that's why she doesn't trust those aliens that are bringing peace and prosperity to the world, ending wars and bringing uh, uh, ending hunger as well. But because of she knows the literature, the Bible, she knows that it is the devil or the Antichrist here ascending, coming to the world to deceive the world. And I have one more piece here. For you guys to see this little boy is basically possessed and take a look what happens jake finds tommy in the barn but the boy has changed significantly and now he is possessed and have some uh strange powers here possesses remarkable strength after some time jake and Amy so they take the little boy to see this Peretta jones the religious uh, uh person here Amy seek help from psychotherapist Peretta Jones and tell her about their son's strange behavior. In a and then take a look what happens when he gets possessed again. Conversation with Peretta, Tommy reveals that the overlords often take him to a distant mysterious place where he sees a giant eye and the earth on fire. He sees a giant eye and the earth on fire, so the destruction that is coming. But take a look. Suddenly, his story is interrupted by a horrifying noise in his head. Tommy rushes around the house and nearly injures Peretta with his strength, distorting her cross. Then he touches his mother's belly. Destroying house and nearly injures Peretta with his strength, distorting her cross. Destroying her cross. So, destroying Christianity. This is the last uh, uh, part that I'm going to show you guys. If you want to watch this whole summary of this movie here this is the the will the channel and the title you can search by yourself but basically they showed here in this series in 2015 long ago what exactly will happen after the revealing of the aliens they will bring this peace this prosperity this end of wars end of hunger but in exchange they will come with this technology that will control people control the whole world mark those possess those that are uh, weak without God, they will fight Christianity and religious uh, leaders, they will persecute those that are being called fanatics. So exactly what the Bible tells us, exactly what the show portrays, exactly what we have been expecting to happen very, very shortly. And to continue here, the eclipses that are showing here, these coming sudden judgment there is even more information related to those eclipses and i have to thank two channels here on youtube for that the first one is god a minute he's an amazing uh, brother here who makes a lot of videos always researching always thinking always presenting very good information and he basically made a lot of good videos about those solar eclipses crossing America, making two axes there. He has videos about 160 pins that he put here uh, related to judgment and the rapture on this eclipses here. Amazing information. I have to thank him for this. And I also have to thank the sister Ikru Symphony, who made an amazing video called Double Diamond Ring Eclipse, the Red Heifer and the Eagle Pass. Um, migrant crisis so he she did a video here on her channel 
talking about the eclipses and the judgment coming. Very good video. Also, watch it. You can uh, search your channel and watch this video. More confirmations about being the judgment, being the related to the rapture, and how close we are to this as well. So we have been seeing that they have been talking about the aliens coming recently with the Super Bowl here. And we have information that those aliens that are coming, they are not extraterrestrials like we expect, but those are demons. And this guy here, the wickedest man in the world called Alistair Crowley, is proving this because this guy contacted a spirit that he, he called it Lamb. And this spirit talked to him and said, they call us angels and demons today, but tomorrow they will call us something else. So aliens. That's the demon channeled, channeled by Crowley in 1904. So in 1904, all the way in the beginning of this the, the previous century, that's when he contacted this entity, this demon that talked him this to him and taught him many wicked things that he was called the wickedest man in the world so the modern depiction of the alien is exactly this uh, draw that he did of this entity that talked to him this demon and this demon here uh, taught him very th many things that is very wicked and is basically the alien that we know today the alien of the, the movies, the alien of the commercials, the alien that people are very uh, used to know from those uh, images. That's the demons that will come. They are already here. They are spiritual beings. They will possess this uh, wicked body to deceive the whole nation, the whole world. And they will come to bring this fake peace and prosperity for three and a half years after the rapture of the church, after the sudden destruction. They will unite the world, bring this fake peace, and after three and a half years, they will persecute those that are not believing and receiving the mark of the beast. That's exactly what the Bible tells us. That's exactly what will happen. And that's how all of this is associated. And the only way out... The only way out of this is through the rapture of the church, the rapture of the children, the children of God, those that believe in Christ, those that are expecting Christ's return. That's the only way to escape all of this, as if, if you go in the rapture of the church, if you are like a little children of God, believing in Him, expecting Him, loving and living for Him, as we are expected to do, because He did everything for us. He loved us be uh, first, and He gave us freedom in His Spirit, and He gave us peace and love. And that's how, how we return this love to Him, by believing in Him, by living for Him, by doing what we can to Him, because that's God's will. And that's how we can escape this coming judgment, coming trouble that is going to happen, Regardless of anybody's will, this is coming, this will happen very shortly after the rapture of the church. And the scene that you just watched is a scene also from the, the Childhood End series. So they show the children being lifted off and leaving earth. So just like in the rapture. And they also show here on the cemetery here. So they know that the resurrection is happening together with those that are being alive and caught in the air. And here's the scene of the cross. And after this scene, they show here the church and the cross here. Because they know that those that are not going to be taken, they will be left behind. And they will be uh, hopeless, knowing what will come after. So, very interesting scene that they show here also. Of the rapture of the church happening. And we can expect this to happen before even the sun of destruction before even the aliens to come. The aliens are expecting the church to leave in order for them to manifest their deception. So now that I spoke everything about the aliens and what's going to happen very shortly, now let's check more connections to Purim this year, Purim in March of this year, how close we are to this and how amazing are the confirmations that are pointing to Purim. So 
already on my channel, you know there are a lot of confirmation. There are four videos just about confirmations for peering, but there's even more now, even more confirmations that I'm simply mind blown by it. So to begin, I want you to have this confirmation from our brother Jared from Supernatural by Design. He uh, makes some amazing slides here and he follows patterns that are amazing as well. And one of the patterns that he uh, saw is the Chiefs Super Bowl prophecy or the pattern of the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl. When those this team, the Chiefs, wins the Super Bowl, something always happens after peering so incredible that they he confirms here that when the chiefs win the super bowl one day after peering that's when this worldwide problem happened back in 2020 and he has here some timelines showing that every time that this the chiefs won the super bowl something happens one day after peering so who knows the chiefs won the super bowl in 2024 so we can expect something to happen one day after peering, which peering would be the rapture, and one day after peering, who knows, perhaps the sudden destruction. So amazing confirmation here. He also have another confirmation on this video that is related to Camp David's Accord. So because of the eclipses, he can expect something to happen related to Israel in an accord, a pact, and we know that this uh, lunar eclipse that is going to happen there in 2024 will bring a coming pact. And we already know from my channel here, from this one, it is a pact for the future that the UN is making in the 23rd of September. So he is expecting one day after this lunar eclipse, but I believe it is seven days after the lunar eclipse, which is uh, not seven days, but five days, I guess. Yeah, five days after the, solar, the lunar eclipse will happen the pact, UN pact, pact for the future. They are calling it the pact, and most likely this is going to be the seven years deal of the Antichrist to the world. And this is a confirmation here that we re he received. He saw this pattern and he's expecting already uh, something to happen by September 2024. And I couldn't help but note that this is truly the Daniel's um, deal with many for seven years that the Antichrist will make. So amazing confirmations that the brother had here. What else? On the Super Bowl, we're seeing this Deadpool character here, which is a type of the Antichrist because he's an anti-hero. He is a type of the Antichrist and he plainly said here that he is the Messiah. Take a look. So he is a type of the Antichrist. He's the only character that talks to the public. And he is calling himself the Messiah, the Marvel Messiah. Take a look. I am. He is. Marvel Jesus. So he knows Jesus is the Messiah, but he is Marvel Jesus. He is the anti-Messiah, the Antichrist. And this character here basically said on the Super Bowl as well about it. What else? Uh, our brother Mark Ellison88 also have very nice confirmations to peering this year on March 25th. And he's talking about Adar being the month of the diamond, also the month of uh, the... What's the name of this animal here? But then it's the same animal that is on the Leave the World Behind. Netflix series. And it's very interesting because it is on 
This one is leaping, and we are on the leap year, which they will add another another Adar, which is truly the correct Adar. That's how they will um, correct their calendars to the correct calendar. And on this leap year, this month of Adar, it's where Piran falls, and that's precisely what we have been expecting here to happen. So Adar related to the, this animal here. I forgot the name in English. But it's a 12 month related to the diamond. So we know that the the diamond double diamond ring eclipse also happening. And the leap year, because this animal is leaping, and this is a leap year uh, is a year that they will add a second Adar. That's when Pirin will fall. So another confirmation here. And also on Carnival in Brazil, what I found very interesting is the following here. Uh, one person in Brazil. In the midst of the carnival, people were like in the feast of the of the flesh there. But this person, a believer called Baby from Brazil, she talked about the uh, apocalypse coming, the revelation, the book of Revelation coming, and the rapture of the church. And because of that, uh, it uh, got so much attention from the whole country that this major news station had to put this uh, news here in Brazil. So what is the rapture, the doctrine of Christ's return that gained prominence during carnival? So um, amidst the carnival, this happened, the talking about the rapture is more, uh, this is more warning that we could ever be able to uh, give to those uh, brothers and sisters in Brazil because it was everywhere Everywhere in Brazil, we're talking about the rapture. And this news here basically had to put something about what is the rapture. Of course, we know that they are uh, they are wicked. They are perverting. They are disbelieving, disbelieving people on this. However, a brother called Alex, he gave an idea to count 40 days after this uh this news here that was everywhere in Brazil. And it was released on the 14th of February, 2024, this news. And precisely 40 days after this date here is purring this year. So I believe this is a major warning that God gave to Brazilians here on Carnival for a 40-day warning. 40-day that most likely the rapture will happen. So a 40-day warning was given to Brazil in a way, in a form that we could ever, you couldn't ever imagine to happen because somebody in Brazil amidst the carnival, the Feast of the Flesh, talked about the rapture and this went everywhere here in Brazil up to a point that a major news station had to put what is the rapture that is everybody's talking about on the carnival. So amazing confirmation that we had leading to peering as well. And another confirmation that I have here for those that follow my channel. If you remember this uh, slide that I showed you guys on my previous video, we were talking about the confirmations that Adam and Eve had to a rapture to a marriage happening on the last month, the month of Adar, which is for now the 12th month. Now I have even more confirmation because studying the book of Jubilees, we realized that uh, on the middle of the month of Heshvan here, that's when the flood came, that's the date of the flood, but also that's the date that the serpent came to deceive Eve. So that's when they ate of the forbidden fruit but they didn't, they, they didn't leave the Garden of Eden uh, as soon as they ate the fruit. What happened after they ate the fruit? God had to kill a lamb to give them clothes. So a pattern that God kills a lamb to give uh, the naked man clothes. So this is a pattern for Passover. That's exactly on Passover, on the middle of Nisan, that's when the Ark of the Flood stopped on Mount Ararat. And if Adam and Eve uh, left the Garden of Eden right here, 
then that implies that they stayed in the Garden of Eden for seven years and six months, being another confirmation for us because we are living on Purim six months before the pact for the future that starts the seven years tribulation on earth. So seven years and six months already being confirmed again in the story of Adam and Eve. And now I, of course, left the best confirmations for last. So I have to thank this brother or sister here from the channel True Love Light. I just saw this video yesterday and wow, what an amazing confirmation that this channel, the channel gave us about peering as well. So this is an amazing video that it is created here on this channel, pointing confirmations from the crucifixion of Christ to the year 2024. So in here, he's pointing the solar eclipse that happened in 2023. And you can see here that in the birth of Christ, the same conjunction happened, but at this moment had a solar eclipse happening here called the wedding ring eclipse happening in the finger of the virgin. So amazing confirmation that he found here and even more so related here to the birth of Christ and also the eclipse on the crucif at Jupiter at the crucifixion on April 6th on the year 30 and the solar eclipse of April 8, 2024 will be exactly the same place that Jupiter was in the crucifixion of Christ. Amazing confirmations here. But the best one by far is this one here that he just posted on the channel. A 313 menorah in the skies. So when I saw this here, many channels were talking about this. I was amazed to see that actually there is like a menorah, the, the Jewish candle with seven candlesticks in the skies at this time frame here. And when I went to research here, March 2024, this is happening. Well, we know what March, what, you know what month March is starting. So the menorah that is happening here, he called it on the 13th of, of March, but also the 12th of March fits perfectly here. You can see the menorah here. It seems like it is turning towards the earth. So as you were seeing here, the menorah, but this is amazing because this is the beginning of the month of Adar, guys. A menorah, which is a seven uh, lamp candlestick, calling uh, being a type of the church, the seven churches, the seven spirits of God. These are the candles in, in Revelation 1 and Revelation 4 that God is talking about, the churches, the spirits of God. That's happening precisely in the beginning of the month of Adar, which is the month of Pisces, the month of Purim. So it is unbelievable what we are seeing in the skies in the exact start of the month of Pisces, the month of Adar, the last month, the month of the marriage, the month of Purim. So amazing confirmation for us amazing confirmation for us after i saw this one here i was like wow it will definitely most likely happen on peering this year because not only the aster asteroid crowned the constellation of virgo on the correct 10th month this the solar and lunar eclipses that happened in the story of aster are matching the solar and lunar eclipses in 2024 we're seeing conjunction from the birth and crucifixion of Christ happening in 2024 and now we're seeing a menorah a seven lamp candlestick which is a type of the church the seven churches being on in the skies precisely in the beginning of the month of Pisces the month of Adar the 12th month the month that happens peering and it, it will be also on a lunar eclipse man so much confirmation that we can't 
even describe it. I don't have a word to describe so much confirmation. It's past astronomical. This is just simply mind-blowing and amazing. It seems like definitely this is going to happen and God is showing in every way possible. How could we perceive a menorah happening exactly in the start of the month of Pisces, which is the month that on the full moon happens, peering happens the wedding. Wow, I am mind blown by this. It is such an amazing information, amazing confirmation that people can't forge it, can't fake it. It is just one more confirmation that is showing definitely peering is on the spot this year. Peering has everything to do with marriage. The marriage supper of the Lamb uh, it is to happen. And also, uh, it is the last feast that God will fulfill before the next age, the age of uh, the Antichrist. So amazing confirmations from everywhere. And this one here simply is, is the best one. Like, it's the final key, final nail in the coffin here for me. And I'm very excited because it seems like it will definitely happen at this moment. We cannot expect such alignments like this to ever happen after. So God is showing us definitely the month of Pisces, peering, the, the marriage, the last feast for him to fulfill, the marriage supper of the Lamb. He will be married just like Esther, the hidden one, was married. And Pisces, it is the, the church, the 153 uh, uh, fishes that was caught. So a lot of confirmation, guys, a lot of confirmations. This is way too much for us to even have a word to describe. So now that I talked about this, talked about this confirmation, showed you guys aliens and how they are demons and that they are coming after the sudden destruction that is pointing to happen on the, the solar eclipse of April as well. Now I'm going to switch a little bit and talk about what happened to us, what happened to me and my family here in this February that was I was away for basically the whole month here. So this February was a tough month for me and also miracles happened, so that's why I'm showing you guys this. So on this February, in the beginning of this February, I moved to another house and as we were moving to another house, so packing and unpacking and preparing things to, to move to another house, then I got sick, then my family got sick as well. So me, my wife, my baby, for the first time he got sick, my mother and my father, we all got sick. Uh, we think that possibly a, a strong flu or a cold here or something related to the, the new house that we just moved because everybody was uh, in here when we were moving, helping here. So it could be related to that. We don't know. But all of this happened amidst this carnival in Brazil that is the Feast of the Flesh. The concentration of evil happening in Brazil happened here in February. And also with this, a dengue fever outbreak, outbreak was happening here in my city and also in many places in Brazil. So all of this were happening. And as I was sick and going to the emergency care there that was full of people, I also started to have gallbladder crisis. That's an ongoing genetic problem that started to worse now. So basically what happens to me is that I have this biliary sludge on my gallbladder that until before nothing happened, but uh, lately, recently, this has given me very full, very painful stomach pain. Uh, and that is so bad and so bad that the la late, the last one that, was, that I had, I had to go to the hospital because I couldn't walk, I couldn't breathe properly. It was so much pain that I was just uh, on the floor trying to breathe from so much pain that I was feeling. So this crisis is starting to worse this year here. And at the same time that I was already sick and I was amidst this moving with my family while everybody was also sick. So a very tough moment that I had. 
And also because of all of this, I wasn't able to work. And because of that, my business declined to a point that I had to shut it down permanently. So this income wasn't coming anymore from my business that I had here, a small business. So I had to shut it down and I hadn't had an income in February, basically. So immediately after realizing all of this, that this was a huge spiritual battle going on, especially because it was a missed carnival. And this spiritual battle was going on not only in my life, but also the whole country. I asked for your prayers in the channel, in the community tab on the channel. I asked for your prayers and thanks to God. It wasn't dengue fever that we caught. It was just a, a strong flu of some kind. And soon after your prayers, things started to get better here. So we slowly recovered. We finished moving to a different to another house. And God also led some amazing and loving brothers and sisters to financially assist us at this moment without they even knowing what was happening to us. So without them knowing what was happening and how uh, we were having many troubles here, those brothers and sisters came to our rescue, led by God, and they blessed us to a point that we had enough for this month. So I was very, very thankful to God and to those, to those brothers and sisters who did this for us without even knowing what was happening to us. So God is good all of the time and all glory to Him. Much love for those uh, brothers and sisters who felt in the Spirit to bless us. We still have a lot to organize here in this new house. I am yet to find another job because basically I'm out of job now. So I'm still need to fight. But everything that I'm seeing with this confirmations for peering seems to be indeed that the time is over. So I believe all of this happened in my life and it's happening because we are indeed ready to leave and this couldn't be different and god couldn't be more present in the at this time of trouble with us than he would have been if he, everything was just fine so everything was fitting perfectly even in our life to prepare for this coming rapture of the church that we are expecting to happen in march so I'm very thankful for everybody, for Bro's brothers and sisters here that helped us, rescued us. And I have a little video here to show you guys about the 11-month-old boy who is about to turn one year old in March 10. He's already standing up, walking with us already, helping him. So he just fell here on the sofa here, he was okay. But that's what we deal with uh, small children uh, like every day. We have to be always aware of where he is, what he's doing, uh, helping him. And it's a different situation for us. So imagine moving to a different house with him uh, like this. And we all got sick. So it was a very difficult uh, moment for us in this February. But I'm very thankful that everything uh, worked out well for us and that those brothers and sisters help us as well and i have a, a, a image here of a 4d ultrasound that we did for the little girl that is coming uh in april i believe she will be definitely born in heaven because uh march 25th comes before and uh also on march 24th to 25th that's when uh, she turns 37 weeks pregnant so that's when he can already uh, be born the little girl here. So that's her face that we are seeing here in the ultrasound. Uh, the expectancy is for her to be born on April 14th, but I believe we're going to be leaving before it, and she 
might just be born in heaven. What an amazing time that we are living, guys. So I'm very, very thankful for you guys, for your prayers, for your love, for the spot on rescue that God provided through some amazing brothers and sisters who are in touch with the Holy Spirit here. I love God and my eternal family even more now. And seeing all of this, I can't wait to be with all of you guys in the kingdom of God. I'm so thrilled to see that it's actually so close now. And in my life, it seems that everything is ready for it. And I hope that in your life, you are also preparing for it because we're seeing amazing confirmations since, since Adam and Eve in the skies, with the planets, in the geopolitical situation that just seems that this is definitely going to happen at this moment. So thank you guys. God bless each and every one of you who have been here with me all this journey. And those are new all newcomers as well. Don't be discouraged if trouble is happening in your life right now. This all can be just a test, like a preparation from God for you to be ready to leave. So praise Him and believe and get ready because we're seeing everything fits uh, fit perfectly to this time frame, to peering to the month of the wedding. There's, there isn't a thing that I could even imagine to come um, to further confirm this for us. I think that's the most confirmation that we ever had. And I hope to see you guys very, very soon in the kingdom there. Hopefully, in Purim, Purim we are going to be leaving this earth. Amen. Maranatha, uh, uh, spread this message for those brothers and sisters who haven't reached this channel yet. Uh, Talk to the people to not be deceived by the aliens once the rapture happens. So explain what are the aliens, that they are demons. Talked about Alistair Crowley. He is the, the main guy that portrayed the aliens as we know today. So he is the, the link to the devil, to the devil side of the aliens. Uh, write this on your left behind letters if you haven't yet, because they will deceive the world with this technology, with this fake artifacts that they will prove in codes here, they will fake proof that they created the religions. They will deceive the whole world, basically. And you've got to uh, anticipate this in order for you to save some lives that will be left behind after the rapture. Amen. Maranatha, hope to see you guys very, very shortly in the kingdom of our God. I'm very thrilled that Purin just might be it. Amen. Maranatha.